Hello and welcome to another weekly update. This is my weekly vlog of raising our miniature horse, Teddy Bear. We usually just call him Teddy now that he's a little bit older. He's a little over a year old. And it is very hot here. I don't know where you live. I hope you're not sweltering as we are, but it is in the 90s. It's been in the 90s and it's gonna continue that way for at least, I think, six or seven days heat index almost 110. So I am in the shade here and I thought this would be a great time to see how Teddy likes his first bath. He's been hosed a little bit when he was gelded but not completely all over his body and I thought I might shampoo his mane and tail a little bit and um, the best soap I have found for using on horses is called mane and tail and um, I won't put too much soap on his body. I don't like to dry out his skin but We'll see how he likes this. And as you can see, I'm just starting to get him used to the feel of the spray. And I have found, when I first started bathing horses, when I had horses when I was younger, I would not run the hose on their face. But then as I started to show my horses and we would go to the fair and I'd watch other people grooming them, I realized that they did do that and it's actually good for your horses to get used to it. What I try to do is hold the hose up and let it fall down like rain and then I gradually let them feel, <laughs> it tickles his nose, let them feel what it feels like on their face. But I think that he is doing really well with this. Um, this is his very first time. He doesn't seem to be caring much at all. Excuse my slob clothes. <laughs> I put some old baggy jeans on so I wouldn't get all I knew I was gonna get wet. I always get wet when I bathe our horses. It's usually a big mess. <laughs> and I think Teddy is really enjoying this. I think the water feels good and the water is cold, but it's comfortably cold. It's not ice cold. And uh, now I'm gonna spray his face again. And you'll see that I'll hold the hose above his head. I don't wanna spray him in the eyes. That would really hurt. And uh, yeah, he seems like he likes this. Now I'm going to soap up his mane and tail. I'm going to shampoo his mane and tail. Skip. I'm going to skip his forelock for today. Don't really need to do that today. It's, it's a little bit trickier, and this is his first time. And I'm not going to put conditioner in. Usually I put conditioner in after I've rinsed my horses off. I'll put some conditioner in, but I'm not going to do that today. This was just to get him used to being bathed and also to cool him down. It's just so hot. I thought it would cool him off a little bit, make him feel better. And you'll notice um, when I'm ready to, when I'm finished rinsing him, you'll also notice that I'll rub my hands on his sides. What I'm actually doing is I'm using my hands kind of like a sweat scraper. And um, I have a sweat scraper. I just don't like them as much. I think my hand is more comfortable. You want to get the excess water off the horse so that um, they don't overheat. If you leave a film of water on the horse, they can overheat from that. You don't want to do that. You want to get all the excess water off, kind of like wringing out a towel or a face cloth. And I just prefer to use my hand on their sides rather than a sweat scraper. And some sweat scrapers are rubber, some are metal. I think the rubber ones are nicer, but again, I still prefer to use my hand. So you will see me do that um, in a minute. But yeah, I think he would kind of like me to do this with him all day long. <laughs> of course, I'm not going to do that, but um, he doesn't seem to prefer one side over the other. It doesn't seem like it bothers him more. Sometimes horses don't like things done to them on the right side, but Teddy does not seem to mind that at all. So he's just uh, taking it all in and enjoying this nice cool shower. And now, like I said, I'm going to rub the excess water off of his sides. And uh, it's also nice because you can really feel your horse's side feel if there's any lumps or bumps or bug bites or something. Kind of gives you a, a chance to really check your horse over. Get all that extra water out. Do the other side now. And uh, overall, I think Teddy enjoyed this. You can see how he's getting whiter and whiter every week, especially before I wet him in the very beginning of this video. You could see how He's really getting white. His coat is really, really changing. Okay, he's definitely cooled off. <laughs> I put him in our little paddock. I'm hoping he's gonna do a roll. Usually they do a good roll after they get wet. But um, 
He's full of vinegar. So I don't know if he's gonna roll or not. I think he may. Right now he just wants some grass. But I think his first bath shower went pretty well. And uh, it's about the only intelligent thing to do with a horse in this heat, except for keep them in where it's cooler or put them in the shade. Different things to try to keep their body temperature down. Most important of all, you have to make sure they have plenty of water. But um, I hope that you enjoyed seeing Teddy's first shower and bath. And uh, I can't believe how good he was. He was very well behaved, especially being that was the first time he ever had anything like that. A little bit tricky. I really should have had a third person because I should have had somebody holding him rather than tying him. But he's pretty good at being tied up for this for right now. And I had a safety knot on him. I hope you stay cool wherever you're at, wherever you live. And I will see you next week at our next update. I hope you have a great week.